there's usually more uh, planches in there but I assume they'll be uh, on the John Wayne as well but uh, yeah I need to go home and have a drink I think and so I'm not feeling too flash and uh, yeah I, can, I think I can see one from here well at least it's not gone black so you got a back yeah you got a little bit of a safety net there uh, Sean uh, if that one's okay then the others will be so yeah you, uh, so these ones are going to uh, calculation it's just the ones up there it's so dry up there it's uh, those two 30 degree days really knocked them back so uh, yeah so we can come back here in the next two weeks hopefully and uh, if, if you need that as I said you know fresh seed can be a two-edged sword it may be very fresh but you may have to wait a year or two before it germinates as uh, Ziggy found out you know he almost banging on the table, these seeds are d these seeds are dud, these seeds are dead sort of thing and suddenly the following year you know he gets hundreds of plants germinating you know, he, well there you go <laughs> uh, message from Australia, we're a very ancient land with a very strange flora and we're still unearthing new things all the time, new species and I mean I always feel like the government should just send me out to the southwest of Western Australia and to the Northern Territory with my eagle eyes, you know, you never know what I might spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it moves, I'll see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting old, but yeah, as I said, I went through uh, Victoria in the early noughties and then the late noughties and found I made a, quite, quite a number of discoveries that uh, set the Victorian society ablaze to look at their own backyard they thought everything was the, you know, the, the same and the same as everything else but now they've got own, their own little gems in their own backyard as well so uh, yeah and I've seen evidence of uh, slightly different pygmies over there too so uh, getting this impression that pygmy is actually a clandestine complex um, as I said this one we found at this seat but look I don't know it just there are slight variations, I can't quite put my finger on them yet because you know I haven't had time to study because as soon as I found the thing you know within a few weeks of finding it last year um, it was drying out sort of thing and they were, they were gone sort of thing so this year I've got about a six week I reckon window of opportunity to take a closer look with my camera and now I've learned a few more photographic techniques I can actually get, you know like second curtain flash to get the detail on tentacles and things like that I can go go in and use second curtain flash and maybe at night time as well and you go out there at night time and uh, you never know we might uh, get a photograph of that minko uh, uh, large paw thing whatever it is yeah that so has uh, claws that come up from underneath the, the pad which is strange because every other animal i know um the claws go down don't they covering the toes so this seems to come up so uh, yeah now we got to walk up did I not mention all those penalties on the side there? Yeah, I know. Sorry, I was guest bagging on. Maybe when we come back, uh, hopefully in the next two weeks. But uh, yeah, anyway, this clip's getting a bit long. I'll start another one, I think.